Linex, best known for its worldwide network of spray-on truck bedliner material, is constantly looking for new and innovative uses for its polyurethane, polyurea-based products. Paxcon was created and developed by Linex as a high-performance, blast-resistant coating suitable for a wide variety of applications. The genesis of Paxcon really began in 1999 as we began to expand and look for uses for our bedliner material outside of the truck bed. So working with United States Air Force testing laboratories, we begin to test the product under a series of blast situations. Paxcon outperformed 27 other products in a battery of simulated bomb blast tests, but unlike steel, it is elastic, so it can absorb the impact of a blast. In 2001, uh, after the unfortunate events which occurred in our Pentagon at 9-11, we began to spray these products in military and government applications. In the event of a bomb blast, Fragments and sharp pieces of a building are the number one killer. Over 80% of death and destruction is caused by fragmentation. Paxcon was developed to hold those pieces together. In a building that's been treated with Paxcon, it protects the occupants by acting like a backstop or a safety net, if you will. So for example, if there's a blast outside, uh, the Paxcon is ductile enough that it will stretch and absorb the energy and the debris from that particular blast. Uh, thus increasing the exit time for the people inside. There are a variety of ways that we've proven the effectiveness of, uh, of our Paxcon materials. The cinder block drop that we do clearly demonstrates the ability of the Paxcon to uh, maintain or uh, encapsulate the fragmentation from a bomb blast in a very low level manner. Uh, when you see the, the block that's dropped without the Paxcon coating, it breaks into many small pieces and shards that, when propelled into a, a room at, at high velocity, can cause great damage and, and injury and so on. The block that is treated with the Paxcon bounces like a ball. You know, it's, it's, it's broken inside. There's no preconceived notion that it's not broken inside. However, the Paxcon indeed kept it all intact and no debris flies from that block. Explosive experts at the New Mexico Tech's Energetic Materials Research and Testing Center conducted a series of blast tests that confirmed the extensive protection capabilities of Paxcon. Uh, the, the test that really proves it out is the testing where we spray the actual exterior of a cinder block building. And the wall is, is uh, constructed of traditional ungrouted cinder block masonry. What that means is mortar is indeed used between the blocks but there's no concrete poured in the comb of the block, so they're hollow. Uh, we place an explosive device, uh, 200 pounds of TNT and 5 pounds of C4 within 30 feet and detonate that, that, that explosive device. Half the building being treated with Paxcon, the other half the building untreated. Two, one. The wall that was not treated with Paxcon, the center block wall was just destroyed. And the debris flew in, and the mannequin at the desk was decapitated, and it was devastating. Uh, the person definitely, if it had been a real person there, would not have survived that incident. The wall that was indeed treated, everything was fine. The worst we had was a little dust flew around and one of the drawers opened on the desk slightly from the concussion, but you clearly would have survived that event. Meeting the specific needs and demands of a wide range of industries has given Paxcon a leadership position and unmatched experience in numerous applications. I think there are three primary customers that can benefit. Uh, one, military, for obvious reasons. I think another application for Paxcon is in the commercial environment where we have the ability to protect in the manufacturing environment where products are, are developed and packaged and also in the warehouse environment where these products are stored. Uh, in the unfortunate event of, of something exploding, the Paxcon can contain that explosion, protecting more of the building, but more importantly, protecting the lives and limbs of, their, of, our, of our employees. Paxcon is applied via high pressure spray equipment. Uh, each substrate has a particular uh, surface preparation that goes along with that. But uh, ideally, in simple terms, the material is spray applied and it goes from liquid to solid in three to five seconds. 
Paxcon is a very, very cost-effective solution. The, uh, there are a couple other ways to do it. One is armor-plated steel, uh, very, very heavy. That's not very practical, particularly if you're going to go above one story above ground. Uh, the other way to do it is mechanical fastening of manufactured pieces. Paxcon is revolutionizing defense and military platforms by providing quality protective polymer coatings currently being used by military personnel in high-risk areas such as Iraq and Afghanistan. Small mitigation is when you have a small arms fire where a bullet uh, hits a hardened surface. And when it's not treated with Paxcon, the bullet will break up into many small pieces. And it's not just one piece that ricochets, it's thousands of small pieces that fly in every direction. When treated with Paxcon, what happens is the bullet hits the hardened surface, but then flattens out and stays stuck under the coating, uh, thus preventing collateral casualty and damage from the, the bullet spalling. And that's what spall is, is when all that debris flies about in every direction. We have real life accounts where our soldiers have been struck and Paxcon has actually kept those breastplates together and has saved those soldiers' lives. There was a young soldier who indeed came under small arms fire was wearing a ceramic breastplate that was treated with Paxcon. And that composite together clearly saved his life. With their strict quality control procedures and tightly integrated program of checks and balances, it's easy to understand why Paxcon has earned its reputation as a preferred supplier of protective coatings. If customers ask me why Paxcon, uh, the answer to me has really two parts. One, it's a product that's proven to save lives. The, the technology has been tested in a host of environments, in a host of countries, uh, under a host of different type of blast mitigation opportunities. And just as importantly, it's a cost-effective way to do those things. We do have uh, research in the works now to see where PaxCon can assist in mitigating the damage from seismic events. Uh, and in the future, we are looking at uh, hurricane and other natural disaster protection incorporating PaxCon technology. But PaxCon is unique. Its primary mission and was developed to save lives in a very, very cost-effective manner. Unfortunately, we all live in a very dangerous world, and PaxCon can provide security at a very, very low cost.